Carl, did you have a good weekend? I had a pretty good weekend. The weather was nice. Yeah. Didn't have to go to a track meet on Saturday. I got to go to a birthday party on Saturday. Ooh, nice. And the McHenry Bowling, that was so much fun. McHenry Bowling? Yeah. Nice. How'd you do bowling? I did pretty well. <laughs> Yes. All right. Well, that's good. I had a um, I had a good weekend. You had a good weekend. Yeah. We're gonna have a great week. Mm -hmm. Why are we gonna have a great week? Uh. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna have a great week because it's a great week and the weather's yes. gonna be really nice. It's gonna be nice. No more rain yes. this week. And <clears throat> we're probably going to have a great week and a great morning routine because I decided that from now on on Mondays and Wednesdays I'm going to be doing a riddle inspired by Joe so Joe shout out to you yeah Joe go listen to some Pearl Jam shout out to you buddy yeah yeah <laughs> and yeah and, and then Joe you know how it feels to get tricky riddles or Ricky Triddles Whichever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you got a riddle for us? Yes. Let's do it. I'm ready for my first riddle. Okay, so a man is walking on a black road wearing all black, a black shirt, black pants, black mask, black hat, and black shoes. All the street lights are turned off and there's no moon in the sky. <clears throat> A black car with his headlights off approaches the man at a high speed and slams on the brakes before hitting the man. The question is, how did the driver know that the man was in the road? So while you're thinking of your answer, let's check in with our friends. Welcome back from the weekend, everybody. It's Monday. It is positive, positivity Monday. And it's positively Monday as well. Let me tell you that. It's positively Monday. Like yesterday was Sunday. It's for sure Monday. But we're also going to be doing a positive Monday. And you know, what better way to start off back, back in the bearded past, past with Zach with, with positivity. So... What is probably, there's probably nothing more positive than the birth of life. So today, we're going to talk about some great people we're going to give out who was born on this day, April 25th. All right, so in 1915, Ella Fitzgerald, beautiful jazz singer. I mean, yeah, she's a beautiful singer, wonderful singer. She was born 1917, I apologize, 1917, this day, April 25th. Also, too, 1940, Al Pacino was born, you guys, the American actor. Uh, you've seen him in movies, uh, you know, throughout. It's a great actor. Um, definitely, if you don't know who he is, I'm an Al Pacino. You're going to see a ton of stuff on him, man. The man is an incredible actor. Also on this day, for you 49er fans, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to give you 49er fans one piece of advice this day. In 1950. Four, Randy Cross was born, guard for the 49ers. I think he ended up going into the Hall of Fame. Great guard, played on all those Super Bowl teams that you guys still live off of. Um, but yeah, Randy Cross was born. And then last but not least, for you Simpsons fans and even Spinal Tap, Hank Azaria, born uh, this day, 1964, you guys. Like I said, Birthing of life. There's nothing more positive than bringing in new life into the world. All right, you guys. Have a good one. I'm out. Hello. Josh Asbill with a positive quote. Today's positive quote, 
Your mind is a powerful thing. When you fill it with positive thoughts, your life will start to change. Morning, everybody. It's Monday. Yeah, it was a long weekend. I don't know about you, but I had a long weekend. A very good weekend, but a long weekend. And um, today, you know, I can, a lot of you, we've talked about this a lot, but, oh, the day, yes, on the 25th of April. The national day is National DNA. It stands for something. I couldn't tell you offhand what D. N A stands for. There's, it stands for, you know, it's who you are, what all of your components add up to, what nationality you are, all that other stuff, you know, you know, crime shows, they've got your DNA, they can hunt you down like a dirty dog. Mm-hmm. Come a long way. I've taken a DNA test. A lot of my family has. You know, it was really funny. We were just, and there's all those shows like finding your roots and everything. And you hear about other people's DNA, their, their family heritage, and they find out things about themselves. We were watching one the other night. And it made me think, yeah, I've got to go on my ancestry and look again, see if any other, you know, things have popped up. Tons of stuff had popped up. I hadn't realized how long it had been since I'd been on there. They now have a, this big circle on there and it tells you exactly how much DNA you took from one parent, how much you took it from the other, and where you got what you are. So I scrolled down. Of course, I figured as much. You know, I got my French from my mother because my dad's not French. And I got my English from my dad because m my mom doesn't have any. And, but it's how much percent. It was really interesting because we all draw differently. I looked up my kids. My daughter is more English than she is French, so she took a little more English from me. But my son, he took a lot of English from me because he's more than even I am because my husband has a little bit, you know? So you just, it's like, you know, you pick and choose and it all gets pulled away and that's where you get your DNA and what you are from your parents. This is just very interesting stuff. And then you, it's like a rabbit hole. Once you start going down there, all of these things. I found, really quick, I found an article about a great uncle who was killed by a shotgun by a boxer in 1954 in an LA hotel. There was a news article about it. I'd never known, but those are all those weird things that you find. So, if you haven't taken a DNA test and you're really interested, you might ask your family. It might be something you can do together. But it is National DNA Day. Okay, now back to the riddle. The answer is, it was the middle of the day. Ah, I get it. See, Give yourselves a pat on the back if you got it right. I didn't get it right. See, I was stuck in the middle of the night and all I had in my mind was Batman. <laughs> I don't know why. One, riddles. I like Riddler. Two... So, see, Joe, see how it feels to to be given tricky riddles? Yeah, Joe, giving all those Ricky Triddles. Yeah, silly Joe. Tricks are for people <laughs> anyway well that's cool that's great nice job on yeah. that yeah stay tuned for another riddle on wednesday yeah man stay tuned for another and riddle. i will have my riddles in the future awesome i love that bit that's awesome great job all right so what else we got going today it's monday positivity it's going to be a positive week the weather's going to be great next week is really exciting why because it's may the 4th so may yes the 4th i can't wait it's gonna be a good one and then right after that is Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, oh yeah, and Mother's Day is also coming up. Shh, I haven't got a Mother's Day gift yet. <laughs> My wife doesn't watch it, so it's okay. <laughs>
Uh, yeah, Mother's Day is coming up. May is a great month, so let's, you know, we're not quite to May yet, but this is the last week yes. of April. I can't believe it's already April. Allergies are starting to wind down a little bit. Yeah. <clears throat> so, some people... It's say. that time of the season. Yeah, time of the season for it to start getting warm outside, which I'm always excited about. So, yeah. uh, let's see. What else is going on? i got some things on my card here. Um, the weather's going to be great. We talked yes. about that. We got 1 o'clock mm. Facebook Live. Yes, that's going to be good. Money Positivity. And if you are you into the Avengers movies and all the all that stuff? I'm I'm not really a big fan of Marvel or Avengers. Okay, for those that are, if you didn't already see it, the new Thor: Love and Thunder movie trailer came out last week, actually, last Wednesday, last Tuesday, something like that came out. So if you haven't seen it, you can go check that out. And uh, later in the week, we'll talk about May movies coming out in the theaters, which I'm always excited about because I love going to the movies. That time of yeah. year when the great movies come out, the summer blockbusters and stuff, so I'm excited about that. All right. All right, then. All Let's right. get out of here for Monday. I better get us out of here for today. <laughs> Happy, great, Lunas positivity, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Take care, everybody.